Dr. Baccarini, now we are going to fabricate the provisional with two different techniques. As we have said, the shell for the provisional, for the veneers, is always extremely critical, because the thicknesses are really minimal. Therefore, the wax-up really needs to be expanded a lot. And above all, as one of the trainees pointed out, the distal area of the cuspids always creates interferences. Therefore, the shell must be very thin. However, if properly fabricated, it will maintain a certain rigidity. Let's see how long it is, 12.6 millimeters, therefore it must be pushed down. Here we can decide whether we wish to push it down and seat it fully and then correct the plane or leave it as it is and then lower the whole thing and work on it. We will have to work on it for a while, however, or we can see if we manage to seat it better, of course. You can see the burr through the shell, can't you? So we are slowly advancing towards the buckle. This is the kind of work that dental technicians must do on the shell. At a certain point, however, the shell gets very thin, so even when you hold it in your hands, you run the risk of breaking it. We can snap it on and it fits tightly. We will still have to trim it a bit later. But we have seen that the undercuts are not a problem. So we try to improve the margins a bit and also the shape and the whole thing. Dental assistant, shall we continue to work? Dr. Baccarini, yes, we'll continue to work. As a matter of fact, we can also work in the patient's mouth at this stage. I love working in the patient's mouth. Mauro said he likes to do it to get better control over the finishing margins.